it's pretty awesome to be recognized. Few Bengals fans are as recognizable these days as Anthony Brooks, better known as Tony the Tiger. During a decade of Sundays, Brooks has painted his face and become part of the backdrop of the jungle. He says it all paid off when Cincinnati beat the Raiders to win a playoff game for the first time in 31 years. Some of us cried, we hugged, we jumped, you know, we cheered, we... You know, I'm still coming down off of the of the high from Saturday. In the hours since the team's win, Brooks and a core group of diehard fans have channeled their energy into securing seats and hotel rooms for Cincinnati's second round playoff game in Nashville. As a Monday morning came around, we all started our group texts and saying, all right, where are we going, where are we sitting, where are we staying? The same goes for healthcare worker Nick Murdoch, whose long simmering frustration with the Bengals finally ended with Saturday's victory. I've actually been on a boycott because I used to get season tickets, so it's been really rough for my wife and I, and we said if they win one playoff game, we're, we're going to every game after that. So I was on, on the phone buying tickets right away, and I was so excited they won. After taxes and fees, Murdoch's tickets cost around $450 each, not that he cares. And these are decent seats, too. They're, you know, they had cheaper tickets, but I, you know, I, I love my Bengals, and I really look forward to supporting them more. And I was ready to just pay whatever I needed to go to get there. I didn't care. I really didn't care. They could have told me tons of money. I'm prepared. I, I want to go to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl bound. That's the way all Bengals feel tonight, I'm sure. Now, officially, the Tennessee Titans say that Saturday's game is sold out, but tickets are still available on sites that facilitate secondary sales, including Ticketmaster and also locally 333 Seat. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. All right, Todd, it's about a four and a half hour drive to Nashville, so at least we're not talking about plane tickets, but what about the places to stay? Well, you know, Ashley, Nashville knows how to host big crowds, so that's helpful. There are rooms still available, although it does seem that supply of those rooms is getting a little tight. I uh, checked prices at hotels that are close to Nissan Stadium, the home stadium for the Titans, which is right there at the base of Broadway. There are some of the hotel rooms there going for four or $500 a night, and I would expect those prices could rise over the next couple of days. Ashley? Yeah, of course, those Airbnbs are always an option. Thanks, Todd.